This is a lot like the chisel plane that I made last week, only it's different. Last week I showed making a chisel plane with a more traditional 12 degree bed angle. This time I actually want to show how to make one with the iron flat on the work. Uh, the iron comes from an old block plane that I uh, picked up at a resale shop. But uh, basically I just need to create a recess in the bottom of a block of wood that is the same depth as the thickness of the iron. Uh, this doesn't have to be anything special other than it's rounded at the back to fit the rounding of the iron, which I just set the iron on there and traced it out. And then I've set this router plane to slightly less than the depth of the iron so I can slowly work it out, leaving it at full height at both ends so that I can reference both ends to make it flush. Then I can just come back and clean it out with a chisel, uh, cleaning back to the uh, stop cut made with a knife. This is basically the only important thing on this chisel is making this flush and uh, and ready for the iron to sit flat on it. So I'll just be working out how everything is removed to make it perfectly flat and the same depth all the way across. Just using a chisel to clean out and pare out what is left over. Um, I can reference the chisel flat on the surface that has been cleaned out with a router and then can slowly work my way making making it referenced off of that surface to clean out everything on the tip. It's a slow process, but if you take your time and do it right, it will treat you very, very well to have a nice flat bed with that. Next, I want to put in a couple magnets into the bottom, and that's what holds the iron into the workpiece. I just have an auger bit the same diameter as a few neodymium magnets. I'll leave a link to those in the description below. But uh, those can then hold the iron in place as it's working along the, uh, the workpiece. I have three magnets that I put into this one. And uh, then with a little bit of epoxy, I can hold them in place. I use a bit of wax paper uh, in between the iron and the wood so that I don't accidentally glue the iron in place. And this allows it to basically sit overnight. I can uh, grab a, a hammer and make sure that the magnets are tapped completely down into the hole and the iron is resting on the bed of the plane. Now the tricky part is once it is all in place I need to flatten the bottom of the iron. This ended up taking me a little over an hour on the stone because I couldn't use uh, sandpaper as the sandpaper might wrap up around the front of the blade. It took quite a bit of doing but eventually the bottom was perfectly flat. This is about halfway through the process. You can see it's shiny at the heel and toe, but I'm missing some right along the edge. So I'm keeping going until I have perfect scratch marks all the way across it. Now that I have the iron on there, I want to actually start working on the, uh, the body itself. To do so, I'm just shaping it however I want. This is really not important. It's how it looks and feels to you. But I'll start with a chisel and make a rough shape, and then I'll come in with a series of rasps and files and slowly round everything into the shape it needs to be. I'll put some finger holes into it so that it fits my hand nicely and I like the way it just it looks. It feels good in the hand and that's really all that's important. And then to finalize it I come in with a very fine file and take off all the marks left from the rasp and that's about it. On back to the iron I just have to sharpen it and I'll do that with the coarse, medium, and fine. I'll leave a link to these stones that I use in the description below as well. Now, I really like doing a little bit of carving and work, and I find that simple little carving like this, especially with this uh, shaped body, work very well. I just used a pencil and drew out this little spiral, and then come in with a V gouge and uh, cut it out. And uh, yeah, I really like how it comes out. Now, with all my products uh, projects, I finish them with uh, boiled linseed oil and paste wax. For these hand tools, it just feels fantastic and looks great in the end. Assembly is really simple. Just snap it in place with the magnets and push it all the way back until the heel touches the back and there you go. That is all you have to do to make a, uh, a chisel plane. Uh, this is great for cleaning up glue and other things that might be sticking up on the surface or getting into corners where you just can't get with a traditional plane. Works fantastic and uh, is a, a great tool to have in the shop. 
yet another tool that I am extremely pleased with how it came out. A very, very simple tool to make, and uh, if you treat it well, it'll do the same for you. Earlier you saw me make a uh, traditional chisel plane with a 12 degree bed angle with a bevel up. And I really wanted to show um, a different style that is more like a chisel. And you just use magnets or screws to hold it to the bottom of it. The benefit of this is that I now have a 20, uh, 25 degree uh, cutting angle as opposed to this one having a, what would it be, a 37 degree bed angle because it has a 12 degree bed plus a 25 degree bevel. This one just has a 25 degree bevel, so it's a little lower angle. So for doing end grain and things like that, this is fantastic. It is great for just getting into the corners and making a little bit of a chisel work to clean up things. So anything that your normal plane can't reach, then this can come in and clean it up. This is also a very simple design. All you really need to do is have a block of wood with a couple magnets on the bottom and something to stop the blade from sliding back slap the blade on there and you have a chisel plane. It's a very, very simple tool and uh, one I enjoy. Plus put a little bit of carving in it and it looks great. So I hope you like this video. Uh, if you did, please hit like and go ahead and subscribe. Also wanna say an incredible thank you to the patrons on Patreon. You guys are really the reason this channel is still running today. If you'd like to find out or help out this channel, you can click the link over here. Also, if you wanna see the video on this chisel plane, you can click the link over here or uh, check out the other one. You might find something you like there. Until next time, have a wonderful day.